In the warmer weather, there's nothing better than ripping off your clothes and diving headfirst into the water. On a planet that's 71% water, we're spoiled for choice when it comes to swimming spots, lakes, rivers, and oceans for the brave, swimming pools, and bathtubs for the rest of us. But it turns out, not all swimming locations were created equal. Some are a lot safer than others. Put the goggles away. These beaches are closed until further notice. Want to know the places on Earth you should probably avoid swimming in at all costs? Let's get it on! Lake Berryessa The Monticello Dam at California's Lake Berryessa consists of a 304-foot-high wall made out of 326,000 cubic feet of concrete. It holds back 1,600,000 acre-feet of water. But what happens when this monumental structure reaches capacity? Well, it's the morning glory spillway's time to shine. Effectively, it acts like a huge drain hole. Think what happens when you empty a bath, but on a massive scale. This Goliath vortex is designed to drain enough water to fill an Olympic-sized swimming pool every 23 seconds. So all those daredevils out there, be warned. This is one water slide you do not want to ride. It would assuredly be your last. Best to swim well away from its 73-foot-wide maw and admire from a safe distance. Devil's Pool Feel like taking a walk on the wild side? This one's for all the adrenaline junkies out there. A trip to Zambia wouldn't be complete without a trip to the iconic Victoria Falls, the world's largest waterfall. Crested on top of the crown of the mighty Zambezi River sits a jewel that is the Devil's Pool. This is nature's version of an infinity pool. A gentle rapid feeds a shallow pool where the water accumulates before dropping over the edge of a small rock wall to a sheer 300-foot drop. This is a water hole not for the fans of heart. One wrong move could be your demise, sent falling to your doom below. Entering for a dip at any time outside of the dry season is a big no-no. Over 130 million gallons of water hurdles over the edge every minute. New Smyrna Beach New Smyrna Beach in Florida may appear picturesque, but it has a reputation for another reason. Being the redfish capital of the world is great and all, except when the abundance of fish life here doesn't just attract tourists searching for the fish of a lifetime, but rather more ominous guests such as black-tipped sharks. These sharks migrate in the tens of thousands down the Florida coast annually, hunting in the shallows close to shore, putting them in a direct collision course with swimmers. This beach is the shark attack capital of the world. Roughly one in every 25 shark attacks worldwide happens here. Scientists estimate that anyone who has swum there has most definitely come within 10 feet of a shark. The upside? None of these attacks are fatal, and some victims even drive themselves to the hospital. Okay, so time for a couple other unbelievable shark facts. Americans are roughly 1,000 times more likely to be injured by a bucket and 200 times more likely to be injured by an air freshener than a shark. May the odds ever be in your favor when you go for a dip at New Smyrna Beach. Beach. Nazari Beach Portugal isn't a place you would usually associate with extreme surfing. Hawaii, sure. Europe, not so much. Nazari Beach can stand up to any big wave destination on the planet on a day when the swell is up. The waves on this beach are well in excess of 70 feet in height, as tall as a 10-story building. Once word got out in 2010 about the truly titanic barrels, this seaside town became a mecca, visited by big wave surfers from around the globe. The surfers rent warehouses to stay in, right next to where the villagers are drying out their fish in the sun. But the villagers know the danger of these waters all too well. Each knows someone who's been taken by the sea. They don't think the waves should be ridden. The waves exact their toll from even the most skilled and experienced big wave riders. There's a reason it's known as the craziest beach break on the planet, and fast becoming known as one of the deadliest. But while many people have drowned in these turbulent waters, there's yet to be a surfing fatality. Wiping out is common when taking on one of these beasts, and several big name surfers have copped horrific injuries and broken spines at the mercy of the rage of the Atlantic. Blue Holes Ready to dive into the deep, dark abyss? Maybe extreme diving's your hobby and you want to push your limits. When it comes to Egypt's blue hole near Dahab, it's advised you sit this one out. See the pyramids? It's much safer. This blue hole to deep water divers is what Mount Everest or Kilimanjaro are to mountain climbers. It is a staggering 185 feet deep. To give you a frame of reference, it's recommended that divers don't exceed diving deeper than 130 feet. There's no real animal life to speak of, just crystal clear 
underwater and a dark abyss below. So deep, in fact, that light cannot penetrate its depths. But how dangerous is it really? It's been given the nickname Divers Cemetery. Unofficially, over 150 people have lost their life here over the last 10 years. The kicker? If tragedy strikes and someone is unfortunate enough to suffer decompression sickness or the bends, the nearest decompression chamber is over half an hour away. And even then, it's often broken down and only working some of the time. If you get into trouble here, the prognosis is grave. Lake Maracaibo NASA officially dubbed this place the undisputed lightning strike capital of the world. It's often referred to as the never-ending storm of Catatumbo for good reason. Their state flag even sports a lightning bolt. Here you'll be able to see fantastic arcs of light and power rain down from the heavens 300 days a year. A rate of 200 flashes a minute isn't uncommon. The fact that water is a great conductor of electricity shouldn't come as a shock to you. Do the math. The electric storms that develop across the lake are a sight to behold. The the luminescence is so great that it's possible to read the newspaper outside at nighttime. Sadly, fishermen have been killed out on the lake, and locals know to scurry inside to safety when they hear the rumbles of the storm approaching and the flashes in the distance. This is fast becoming a popular destination for tourists and storm seekers who get a thrill out of witnessing the best nature can throw at them. Just make sure you don't travel to Lake Maracaibo with your swimmer's pack and your luggage. Take temptation out of the equation. 7 Mile Miracle Located on Oahu's North Shore, the Seven Mile Miracle is the holy grail of big wave surfing spots, a paradise that boasts world-class surf breaks every 100 yards. However, lifeguards perform over 1,000 rescues each year at what is one of the most dangerous stretches of beach in the world. Even during smaller swells, the rip currents are unnaturally strong. It's home to the Bonsai Pipeline, a notorious break that throws up gigantic walls of water that crash onto the shallow reefs below. This this isn't a spot for beginners. If you fall off, the chance of injury is almost 100%. The reef will take its pound of flesh. There's a story of a college couple who were swept into the ocean by a rogue wave while wandering the shoreline hand in hand at sunset. The boyfriend was immediately spat back onto the sand. The girlfriend vanished without a trace. The lifeguards on duty here need to train constantly, even performing mock rescues. It's not out of the question for one of the team to purposely get sucked out into the pounding surf to play patient while another braves the monstrous swell to retrieve them. Saving someone's life is surely the most rewarding job in the world. Fifi Don Beach when you think of dangerous islands, Australia and Borneo are the ones that first spring to mind. But what if there was an unassuming island out there, popular with tourists under everyone's noses? Fifi Don Beach is famous for being the set of the Leonardo DiCaprio box office hit The Beach. It seems like the perfect place to relax back in the crystal clear water, soak up some rays and enjoy a well-deserved beverage. However, the tropical waters in this area are home to a high population of sea snakes. It's not enough for these scaly, bitey, reptilians to dominate the land. They have to dominate the seas too. Sea snakes are some of the most venomous in the world and regularly come to shore on Fifi Don Beach, frightening the living daylights out of tourists. The silver lining is that they rarely bite and have small fangs. This doesn't mean you should take your chances with these aquatic nope nopes and danger noodles. Fraser Island Taking out the top gong for the most dangerous beach in the world is exactly what you guessed. In Australia, there's always some creature looking to put an end to your life, wherever you decide to go. It's a wonder that Australians are such laid-back people considering the fact that something's trying to kill you every 10 minutes. Maybe it's all the shrimp they throw on the barbie. Who knows? The next time you're planning on booking a holiday to a sun-soaked beach, do your homework first. Fraser Island is picture perfect. A beautiful smile, hiding sharp teeth. There's a reason why hospital rescue choppers regularly regularly take victims back to the mainland. The ocean itself is rough, with powerful waves and riptides. With no lifeguards to save you, taking a break to cool off from the biting, hot Australian sun could be the last thing you ever do. It's a great white shark breeding ground. It's not safe to go back in the water. You're gonna need a bigger boat. Man-eating saltwater crocodiles don't only call the rivers home, as their name suggests. They're quite at home in the ocean. But it's not always the biggest predator you have to worry about. A tiny subspecies called Irukandu frequent these waters and takes the hard-fought crown of Australia's deadliest creature. At a little over an inch and a half in size, these pint-sized stingers pack a punch. A sting can cause a fatal brain hemorrhage, and each year over 100 people are hospitalized fighting for their lives. In the land of Nope, the best way to escape the heat is from the safety of your hotel room shower. Boiling River 
Do you like horror movies? How does the attack of the killer river sound? <laughs> yeah, it doesn't quite have the same ring to it. This is absolutely the real deal though. Travel deep enough into the center of the Peruvian Amazon jungle and you may stumble across the boiling river. They call it Chine Timpishka, loosely translated to boiled with the heat of the sun. It may appear safe enough with its tranquil water and gentle steam vapor rising off the surface. A nice warm bath perfect to soak those aching bones? <laughs> again, looks can be deceiving. This water will kill anything and anyone unlucky enough to fall in. This river is the stuff of myth, a legend just like the lost city of gold rumored to be hidden deep within the Amazon. Back in 2011, geologist Andres Russo made it his quest to prove the existence of this unbelievable phenomenon. Since, he's been back multiple times to study this incredible geothermal formation. The boiling river runs hot for nearly four miles almost 80 feet across its widest point and 16 feet deep. It averages 187 degrees Fahrenheit, maxing out at 201 degrees Fahrenheit. Oh, best to avoid this one, unless you want to be turned into a human tea bag.